Hi, this is Sarah Mikesell, and today we're here with Matt Cochran. He is the program director for Ag Connect, which is part of the Texas A&M Homeland Security Center of Excellence. So thanks so much for being with me today, Matt. Thank you, Sarah. Um, tell me a little bit about the role that diagnostics play when it comes to emerging diseases. Well, I, I think diagnostics are perhaps the most critical element in detecting and then differentiating emerging disease from endemic or d already occurring domestic disease. So uh, we live in an era where I be believe the new norm is emerging disease. Right. And it's, it's, a, it's a global change in part due to uh, population increase, uh, global trade, and the like. Mm -hmm. So um, diagnostic assays though I think are are part of you know going forward are part of the solution having faster better more refined diagnostics and perhaps changing uh, the the level at which they are able to be delivered to uh, a farm a producer a veterinarian and refining techniques with the advent of oral fluids PCR or pooled PCR um, techniques over the last 10 years, I think that was a great step forward. Mm -hmm. and we'll have to see, you know, what's next right. on these fronts. But um, where I work from is a systems approach to um, detecting disease before people would normally recognize it for something different. That's where we've got to get. We've got to get to where we can see it, detect it, uh, before we would normally know through our, uh, normal observance and practices that it's it's come and it's there. Uh, mm -hmm. The uh, American swine industry, you know, has been ravaged by porcine epidemic diarrhea virus and now is facing an outbreak of Seneca Valley virus. Um, these diseases, all of these emerging diseases, pose uh, different problems for different reasons. Right. Differentiation of Seneca Valley from other vesicular diseases can be an issue. So part of the program we work with at our, at our center uh, with, with the swine industry and others is um, enhanced passive surveillance. And that, that kind of incorporates uh, field-ready technologies right. to allow veterinarians and or producers or uh, production technicians to make documentation on, on, on a syndromic level in the mm -hmm. field and create real-time data streams that feed up into uh, uh, an aggregated uh, space, a database, right. for viewing and then decision making later. There's a lot of everyday practicality to this, but using, using syndromes, even aside from presumptive diagnosis, can be very um, useful and provide that, that early warning, you see? But diagnostics, we recognize, are still a big part of this, and so we tie together, we loop diagnostics back to that uh, in, in this particular program, which I think stands as a good example for how we can move in the future. Very good. Very good. So it's really diagnostics are working together with the program that you have, that are, are working with this early detection program and watching. Yes, absolutely. Um, diagnostics provide confirmation, differentiation. They're the rock solid evidence at the end of the day with the inputs coming a little bit before that through the live data stream. Very and then good. diagnostics are collected, sent to a laboratory in most cases, right. and then the results can be messaged back directly and have a continuity in that record. So there's no need to try to marry up this data later. Very good, excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Matt. Very interesting. You're very welcome. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks.